Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Comet Cast here, as we have kind of a podcast Zoom show going on where Olivet College gets to showcase its athletes on a more personal level. So our guest today, I'll let her introduce herself. If you would like to give us your name, your class rank, and your major for us. All right, I can do that. Um, my name is Jordan Emelander. Uh, I'm a junior this year, and my major is sports and rec management. Um, some more things about yourself. Where did you graduate high school from? Uh, Shepherd High School. It's a really super small town, like blink and you miss it type of thing, like right outside of Mount Pleasant. Okay. Is it similar to Olivet? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I know the feeling. Uh, graduating class, like what year did you graduate? Uh, 2018. Represent. And then so um, is Shepherd your hometown as well? Uh, yeah, um, I was born in Shepherd. Yeah, well, I was actually born in Mount Pleasant, but there's no hospital in Shepherd, so. <laughs> that, hey, I under, Marshall is uh, the closest hospital to Olivet, too, so right. I, I completely understand. So now we're going to kind of get going here. We're going to hit you with some rapid questions. Oh, yes, you, should, you should probably introduce both of us, too, brother. So... <laughs> <laughs> we are two co-hosts, excuse me, are Brandon Taylor as well as Travis Garner, and I am Michael Fist. Sorry, kind of shaking some rust off here. I am a junior media production communication major from Olivet, Michigan, also class of 2018. And um, I'm a senior. Um, I graduate next fall. Um, I play football, and I'm a um, – I'm a communications major as well, like Fisk, and um, I'm an RA. Hey, asking the um, <laughs> I'm Travis Travis Garner. Uh, I am a MPC major, kind of a theme here. Uh, my class rank: I'm a senior. I'm graduating in May. Uh, my high school: I went to St. John's High School in St. John's, Michigan. Um, my graduation year was 2017, and obviously my hometown is St. John's. So, so I'm going to let Travis kind of take over this next segment. This is super simple stuff. I promise we won't really kind of push anything. All right, sweet. All right, so the first segment we're going to do to kick this off is kind of an icebreaker type uh scenario it's called 20 questions rapid fire so basically it's just gonna well it's not gonna be rapid fire like we don't have to like we okay. don't have to answer <laughs> super quick but rapid fire was just the name we came up with um so it's gonna be super like basic questions um so it's just based 20 basic questions to kind of get to know you as a person and some of your favorite things okay. sound good yep all right so first your favorite food Ooh, I love spicy foods. Like, I'm one of those people that, like, want hot sauce on everything I can. <laughs> What's your favorite hot sauce? Red Hot, 100%. Yes. Ooh, I'm, more <laughs> a, I'm more of a sriracha guy. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of sriracha. A lot of people are surprised by that, but I'm Red Hot's my go-to. <laughs> you put that. Oh, yeah. Frank's. You can't everything. go wrong with Frank's Red Hot. Oh, no. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, favorite restaurant? Ooh. Hmm. are we talking like restaurant restaurant like not like fast food <laughs> uh, i mean your your favorite hey, restaurant I, can I, be you could give food. a fast food and a regular restaurant if you want okay um i really like olive garden if i'm thinking like more of like the sit down type of stuff or applebee's is good too um fast food probably taco bell <laughs> oh yeah can't go wrong no um your favorite sport outside of the one you play Oh, that's kind of tough. Um, I'd probably say, oh, I'd probably say football. It was, I was trying to decide between football and basketball, but I'd probably say football. <laughs> so you got a favorite okay. team? No, not really. I'm not really like big into like all the like statistics and all that stuff that everyone talks about. If there's a game on, I'll watch it. Like that's, I'm just, I just like watching it. <laughs> So what about the Super Bowl? Do you got a pick for that? Do I what? Do you have a pick for the tonight, the Super Bowl? Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. And this is really embarrassing. I don't even remember what teams are playing. <laughs> oh, man. 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I I feel it. I understand. I understand. Yeah. That's, I mean, as weird as it sounds, that's exactly how I am with football too. It's mm-hmm. just kind of like, if it's on, I'll watch it, but like, it's, right. it doesn't. All my guy friends, not, who know, like they just go on and on about like people's names and statistics and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, I just nod my head. <laughs> right. Yep. Uh, favorite color? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, favorite vacation you've been on? Ooh. Um, uh, yeah. Was it last? i don't remember i think it was last december oh my gosh this all corona stuff has my years all mixed up i don't time is not even <laughs> but my favorite trip was when the volleyball team went to south africa 100 percent. i would go back oh, south heartbeat. africa that sounds that sound dope it so was what was the favorite, favorite thing that you did in south africa <sighs> okay well i'll i'll I have two because I can't decide. The first one was we went to an orphanage and we like helped them out a lot. We got them like, we got them all KFC. We bought them new shoes for Christmas. Um, We helped paint um, a house that they were like building there. And it was just like a life-changing experience. Just like how those kids are just like so grateful for like the small things that they had. Like they would play soccer with like um, little garbage bags, just like all balled up. And they were just happy with that. It was, it was life-changing. And then we also stayed on um, like a safari resort for a couple of days. So like we went out on like the cars in the middle of like the safari and got super close to like a bunch of crazy animals. Like it was awesome. That sounds super cool. Yeah. That sounds fun. Um, if you could go anywhere in the world that you haven't been, where would it be? Australia. Same. They got yeah. big love spiders. To go to Australia. <laughs> It looks so awesome. I am definitely afraid of spiders, but really, I would. Yeah, I'm terrified of spiders. It's I, it's, it's I a problem. Think honestly, about bugs that fly, like June bugs. Mm-mm. I don't. If I see a June bug, I'm out. I Literally any of type of bug, fly. I can't do it. <laughs> Mine's birds. Birds terrify me. They are mean. Oh, yeah, I can. I birds can. really? Birds. Oh my goodness. All right. Like Jordan, Favorite though. beverage. Coffee. Iced Coffee. or hot? Ice cream. <laughs> Look at that. I, I just, I can't get into coffee. Really? Me either. I, I understand. I, I've worked at McDonald's long enough to know that iced coffee is fire. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm either, if I'm not drinking water, I'm drinking coffee and vice versa. Like, those are, like, my two go-tos. I don't drink pop, so. Yeah, I don't mess with pop either. I don't really drink that much pop. <laughs> <laughs> um favorite season summer for sure okay i'm a winter person myself but really i don't i don't like yeah. the cold i hate the winter i don't go outside if i don't have to i love the cold dude I, it's mostly because <laughs> i'm just always hot so like i can walk outside in 30 degrees and be fine see it's the opposite it's just, like i'm always yeah. cold i can testify i like to that. sleep in the cold i don't like being in the cold though yeah i can agree with that uh what is your dream car Mm. okay this is probably gonna sound silly but i've always wanted a bug (laughs) i mean most people say like a lambo or something but i just think bugs are so cute like i could totally (laughs) (laughs) i'm a pretty simple person i was gonna say you you i kind of i kind of got a bug vibe from you so yeah (laughs) it makes sense (laughs) You want like an old bug or like a newer one? Mm, probably an older one. Like not like too old, but like I don't want like a brand to make a new one. It just like doesn't feel it's like authentic to me. What's the movie with? Well, they don't they don't make those anymore, do they? Is do they still Kirby? make? Is, it is? is it Kirby or Herbie? Herbie, it's Herbie. Yeah. The, yeah, that's that what movie. that reminded me of. <laughs> the, do they do they still make bugs? I didn't think they made them anymore. I don't I don't know if they do. That's kind of why I asked if she liked old or new. Mm-hmm. I know they make like newer looking like Volkswagen type things, but they just don't even really look like bugs anymore. It's not it's not the OG bug, you know. Mm-hmm. Would it would it be in yellow is the more important question. Absolutely, 100 <laughs> percent Awesome. I love it. Uh favorite TV show. The office. 
Are you Can't sad? Awesome. Is it, is, are answer. you sad it's not on Netflix anymore? Uh, yes. I had at least 30 people Snapchat me like, oh my gosh, Office leaves um, Netflix tonight. And I'm like, can you guys stop reminding me? Like, I already am depressed. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, your favorite movie. Times, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, I watched The Office 17 times. So everyone knows I'm obsessed oh. with it. <laughs> 17. Who's, your favorite, who's yes. your favorite character? That's a lot. Yeah. Is it Michael Scott? Is Michael Scott your go-to? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a gym girl. Gym that's uh, that's uh, um, John Krasinski, right? The mm-hmm. actor. Okay, I like him a lot. So. Me too. I, I don't. I'm not super familiar with The Office, but um, I just know I know that Steve Carell's on it, and Steve mm-hmm. Carell is like, I think one of the best <laughs> actors of all time. So oh, 100%. He's insane. Yeah, he's funny. He's definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> um, uh, favorite movie. Hmm. Favorite movie, favorite movie. If you can't think of one, you can give us a top three if that would help. Okay. Yeah, you can do a top three. Because I watch a very like wide variety of like genres. So like I was like, how do you even pick a favorite? Um I would okay, I'll do this. My favorite like Disney movie is probably Tangled. That's a good one. That movie's so good. Flynn and then, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> um i also really like the movie um gone girl that's like a thriller though but i love that oh movie. travis yeah, that's a I've, movie. i told you about that movie that blondie is crazy and anytime i, I see her in anything else i'm mm-hmm. like she crazy i don't want yes. i don't want to watch anymore <laughs> she is crazy it's insane that movie's so good i i watched a movie uh a couple weeks ago that really struck me as amazing it was called the invisible man it was that, super good. Oh one? yeah, I seen yeah, that. Yeah, it's like a thriller, like jump scare kind of thing. It's it was super good. It was a lot of jump scares, like I yeah. Was, I, I don't do well with jump scares, but it was I, worth it because it was a really good movie. I've heard so, about it. Some of my friends saw it, but I have not seen that. You want to know a movie kind of gave me Gone Girl vibes? Have, hmm. have you seen a simple favor? It's got Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively in it. No, but I've been. T- I was told to watch that definitely if you like gone girl give that a watch okay okay awesome i definitely will all right uh next any hidden talents hidden talents um hmm Do I, have any hidden talents? I don't even know if i have one uh i'm double jointed or like just something that something that's a, that's a hidden talent for real being double yeah that is Definitely. Like, like I can make my oh. touch my arm, and then like. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> and then, like my elbows bend a lot. Oh, ooh, ooh, that one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that. What? Oh, yeah. oh goodness! Yeah. Do you that think the Do you think insane. the elbow flexibility comes from, play, like, we'll get in more to this later, but playing your sport? Oh no! If anything, my hypermobility makes it worse because i get injured way easier than most people <laughs> yeah that's what i was just about to say yeah makes it way easier yeah and my shoulders I mean, are like that that's why i had to get surgery on both mm-hmm. of them that's why i retired from sports <laughs> you sure that was the reason uh no i'm not i like <laughs> to think that's the reason but all right well keep telling yourself that um anyway next <laughs> Fav- uh, favorite music genre alternative alternative okay uh and this kind of ties in with that favorite artist billy eilish so i'm gonna That's sound a like a complete idiot right here but like can we get a song version of alternative because i'm blanking i'm like what? what like what is alternative i guess can i get like a song example like what, would, what would constitute as alternative i think it's what he's asking honestly I guess I honestly don't know what makes alternative music alternative. I just know a lot of it is very like emotional. Like it like, I don't know, because a lot of music is anyways. So I guess that's not a good way to describe it. Um, I'm going to do a quick Google search for al- alternative. Yeah. Music. Mainly just for Fisk. Sorry, Jordan. I, <laughs> that's I okay. Just, yeah. I, didn't, I just don't have a good answer for that, I guess. I never really thought about it. Um, apparently, Green Day is alternative. Yep. I would <laughs> um, Okay. Nirvana. I wouldn't call. Them, I would say Nirvana is grunge, but that's just me. <laughs> um, 
Soundgarden, Foo Fighters. I don't know if this is at all what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's hard because like alternative music, there's like the older type of alternative music like that. And then there's also like, newer know. alternative yeah which is like a different style but it's still technically alternative yeah like, that's, what right. I, that's what i thought you was thinking when you said that i'm like like yeah. is billy eilish considered alternative yeah okay okay so that's your favorite artist billy eilish yeah okay um favorite song by her hold on let me look because honestly i don't know it's <laughs> kind of hard to pick a favorite um I, I also have a terrible like memory with names so like I'll hear a song and I know that I know it but I don't know what the name of it is I've, I've been there um probably mm, listen before I go but it's really sad but I really like it probably listen before I go that was off for a new album so okay um this next question kind of ties in with that uh, what's a song that you have complete, completely memorized? Um, wow. I, I have a lot of songs memorized. Like, do you want one by her or just anything? Um, just anything. anything. Hmm. Honestly. There's so many, like, how do I pick one? Probably like anything by Rihanna. I know all, like all her music. <laughs> Okay. Re 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 classic re re. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, this is I I had. Would you ever go skydiving as a, a question? But um, I'm repla- I'm making an executive decision and replacing this this question. Uh, wh- what is your biggest fear? Who my biggest fear? Um. Hmm. So that's a good one that is a good one because it's kind of funny because i actually definitely would go skydiving but i'm really scared of heights so but like i would definitely that's same it. i'm i would never go skydiving i'm yeah. petrified of heights see i'm terrified of heights and i'm with travis i would never go skydiving <laughs> not a chance you would never catch me jumping out of no plane there ain't no way yeah, you could have paid me to go um, i think i'd pass out the, I think the first time I ever went in a plane, no jumping out. I was like, it, it wasn't that scary. There. It kind of was like a car drive to me, but the only thing I hated was that my ears was popping in. Oh, so. yeah. See, like planes don't really bother me, even though they are super high up. But like if I'm like on like a really tall building, like in like a parking garage or something, and I'm like open, like I could fall, that's when I get scared. But in like a plane, I wasn't really scared. So is it just, is it a small school thing where you like go on an eighth grade trip or something? Or is that just an Olivet thing? Um, We had a, like a, oh no, it was sixth grade. It was like a sixth grade, like overnight camp at some like thing. I don't remember what it was called, but I don't think we went anywhere in eighth grade. Well, I went to Chicago and two of my friends played a joke on me. It wasn't really funny to me at the time. We were in this, we were in the John Hancock building in Mm -hmm. Chicago and they like tackled me to the floor. One of them grabbed my feet and grabbed my arms and they like took me to the window. Oh. I, I, that didn't <laughs> go over well. That's a cruel. Was that Chris? Yeah. Was that Chris? That sounds like a Chris thing. No, Chris is two years younger than me. This was Colin oh. and uh, his name's Bradley. That sounds like a cruel joke, man. Yeah, that's I, that's I was just cool. saying that's messed up. That's if really you messed up. Right before you would now. Yeah, and the teacher had just convinced me to even go up to the top floor, and then they pulled that. So that's messed up, man. <laughs> He's it's been bothering him. He's <laughs> for, for the last ten years. He has to get it out. <laughs> Biggest pet peeve. Um, I hate like when um I'm like telling a story and people constantly interrupt me. Like being interrupted, just even if like I witnessed somebody else interrupting somebody else, it's still like that's a big pet peeve. You run over there and just smack them or something. Yeah, I'm like, will you let them like finish their thought? Like I hate when people do that. So are we aggravating you? Yeah, yeah, I was. No, no, this is okay. Okay. (laughs) I was just thinking. If you're ever getting aggravated, just just say, guys, shut up. Let's get one of these, and we'll just. (laughs) Um. 
All right. If you won the lottery, what's the first thing you'd buy? Um, my dad a new truck. I like it. Actually, it's kind of funny that you asked that because I literally was just talking about this the other day because like my dad's truck is such a piece of crap. Like it's so <laughs> bad. And like he has like done a lot like for me growing up and stuff like that and like he doesn't have like the greatest job in the whole world so he can't like afford to get um a new truck right now so that was the first thing I would do and then after I bought him like a super new truck then I would do some crazy stuff but that'd be the first thing I do (laughs) you do some crazy do some crazy stuff like invest (laughs) I don't know anything about that I tried so hard to understand what people were talking about with the whole GameStop thing I can't comprehend it I I oh yeah same I'm, I'm so lost with that, so. good thing about the winning the lottery is you could uh, pay somebody to help you know how True. it goes True. You, yeah. could, you could hire a financial advisor that can do all the financial cool. stuff for then you then they could just do it for me and i'd keep getting richer hey, that's a that's what yeah, i would do with my money it's about how it works nowadays mm-hmm. um favorite animal well, I used to really not like cats, but then I rescued a kitten a long time ago, and now he's like my baby, so probably my cat. <laughs> so I think that answers the next question, Travis. Dogs or cats? Oh, see, that's tough, because I also really like dogs, but Mowgli, that's my cat. He's the only cat I like. Like, other other cats, like, I don't care, but Mowgli's my baby. <laughs> I, I usually would, like, prefer dogs. Yeah, I, so, like I don't personally really have a preference. It's just I I like them both, but I've I've always had cats. But mm-hmm. I like when I get my own place, I'll probably get a dog before I get furniture. So yeah, for real. So, so I guess I, was, I would say my favorite animal, if it's not a cat, I actually really like snakes. Mm, so no. I would say snake actually, because snake. Mowgli's the only cat I like. <laughs> snakes are cool. I. Apparently, this is gonna make me sound like a real baby, but I scared of birds, spiders, snakes. No go for me. I love so, snakes, dude. So going along with the dogs or cats thing for a second. So say you don't have a pet currently, and you like were graduated from college and you had your own place, and you were looking to get one. Which one would you choose? A dog or a cat? Yes. A dog. Okay. So with that, I think we're going to move over kind of dogs. Dogs are amazing. Just sports. Um, just tell us about the sport you play. Um, well, I play volleyball. <laughs> right. um, do you want to know like about like, volleyball? Like or? just like, like how long have you been playing and like just oh, like. Okay like your thoughts on the sport you play like tell us like how you feel about it okay um I started playing volleyball in seventh grade and then I was not good I was like bad really bad but like I (laughs) I also played basketball at the time and I hated basketball but I really liked volleyball so like I told my dad like I don't want to play basketball anymore like I hate it and um he told me like just finish out the season and because like he didn't want me to just quit and so he was like finish out the season then you just don't have to come back and I was like okay like whatever so I suffered through it and then after volleyball like even though I was bad at it I really loved it and so like I decided like if I'm going to do this like I want to do it like I wanted to be really good so in seventh grade or in eighth grade I was on the B team and I was like super bad. And um, then over like that after fall or whatever. And then when it came to springtime, I went and did club so that I could like improve and get better and stuff because Shepherd um, is not a very big volleyball school. Like in the past, our teams have like not been the greatest and it's just not a big deal at my school. And um, so I went to get outside help and stuff like that. And then when I came back my freshman year to try out, I ended up being on JV and I was the libero. So that was like a really big step because I used to be on the B team and then I ended up surpassing people in my grade. So like that was huge for me. And I just kept going. It was like I basically played volleyball all year round up until I came to college because I would do like the fall season and then I would go immediately into club. And um, then my sophomore year, I was on varsity and then all the way up throughout um, high school, obviously. And then, yeah, but I told my dad, I was like, when I was younger, cause my dad's like my biggest, um, like support system with that. Like he was always 
at all of my like practices and my games and he paid for all the stuff and all that. Like he knew that I was committed. So he was just as committed as I was to make sure that I could get where I wanted to go because I knew from like freshman year on that I wanted to play in college. So I put a lot of work in for that. So volleyball means like a lot to me. Uh, is volleyball the only sport you played in um, high school? No, I also did track and field. I did high jump and long jump. And then my freshman year, I did some sprinting, but I hurt my ankle during volleyball sophomore year. So I wasn't as fast as I used to be. So I just stuck with jumping. Okay. Like when you was, when you was doing track, was it like a, like a huge adjustment or is it just a lot more running? Um, well, the reason I wasn't even going to do track and then my dad convinced me to give it a try because he thought that it would help me with volleyball and which it did. And then I ended up actually really enjoying it. And I ended up being like one of the top high jumpers in like our conference, excuse me. And um, so I ended up really, really liking it, but I don't know. I just definitely helped me to stay in shape and to like gain muscle and agility and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Um, um, but sometimes it, it could be really tough because I would be in travel at the same time that I was doing track. So like some days we'd have a meet and as soon as I'm done, we would have to like speed to my volleyball tournament to get there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Brandon, going off track a little bit. What were some PRs you had? Um, my best was five foot high jump. And then my long jump, I didn't like long jump as much as high jump. So it's hard to remember. I think it was either 14, nine or 14, 10, I think. Don't quote me on that. I, I can't jump, so <laughs> I. Yeah. yeah, white men literally can't jump. Uh. <laughs> I... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not a track guy. I tried it in high school. It's pretty cool, I guess. I did shot put, and occasionally um, we had like a big man relay, so I did that a few yeah. times. Mm -hmm. um, those are the most. Those are the most entertaining relays, Brandon. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I really not a fan of it, but it it, it does get you in shape. It, you indeed, but Absolutely. um, but piggy piggy and piggy and back. Um, so like, how has your college experience been like playing volleyball? Because isn't that the only sport you play, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how how is that experience? Um. Well, I came in my freshman year and I ended up being starter, and then I only made it halfway through the start uh, through my freshman season because um. Uh, our first home game, actually, I tore my ACL, MCL, and both my meniscus. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. <laughs> was like shattering. But um, so that that definitely put a damper on stuff because especially from being like a freshman starter, which doesn't happen very often, to having all of it taken away was like really tough to go through. But so um, I did not play on varsity last year, but I'm super hopeful for this year. I was still recovering. And I just wasn't ready for that yet but um I'm super hopeful for this year and I've been putting in a lot of work so I mean even though like it sounds like my experience hasn't been the greatest I'm mm. still like so thankful for it just to even like because a lot of people don't even have the opportunity to play at this level so even though like I lost something like I still am just like grateful and plus like you know it's I was down but I'm not going to stay down forever like you'll get back up eventually so eventually <laughs> I, I can agree like um they, I, I didn't start as a freshman, but as a sophomore, I started. And um, I played every game except for the last one because I messed up my other shoulder. And it just – it kind of hurt a little bit. But I, I, I get I get the same vibes you just said. Mm -hmm. But um, do you have any, like, cool stories you want to talk about, like, with your volleyball experience? Um. It could be any story. It don't have to be cool. It could just be anything, like any anything you want to talk about, like about volleyball. Okay. Um. Well, my freshman year, I I was hurt at this point, but I was still able to go. We went to DC, um, which was super cool, and we got to play. Um, well, I didn't, but um, a coach told me that I was still able to come if I wanted to. And I was in a wheelchair and everything. So I, teammates were helping me, like, push me through D.C. and in, in the wheelchair. And that was, so that was interesting. But it was fun. And but we got to play against um, a deaf school there, which was such a, like, a cool experience because, like, I don't know, like, they just, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it was just, like, really interesting because, like, you know, like, when you get a point or whatever and everyone, like, claps and cheers, they, like, do this 
because like obviously and it was it was really cool like experience and then uh, my roommate um st uh, studied sign language in high school a lot and it's something that she really enjoys so coach asked her to do like the coin toss and stuff which that was cool to see so that's probably one one of my favorite ones and that was my first time in an airplane too so that was cool <laughs> So how'd they like, cause you guys have this again, sounds dumb, but you guys have like plays and stuff. So like, how did they communicate their pl like plays like in game, like speed? Um, a lot of hand signaling and they definitely talk thing or like communicate things out before like the next play starts. So they have an idea of what they want to do, which was super cool. And then before we move on this segment, That's interesting. Just to clarify, like, what position do you play? Oh, I'm an outside. And again, gonna sound dumb, but I have I didn't watch a lot of volleyball growing up. My sister played, but I was really little. So, like, outside, like, is that in the back or in the front? Like, are you a um, hitter? Outside is um, it's actually technically an outside hitter. So I am in the front row, and I typically, depending on like the rotation that we're in, will hit from the left side of the court. So like, if it's okay. in, like the not right side, middle, outside. Okay. That gotcha. Yeah, that makes more sense now. Yeah, we're we're not we're not as up on our volleyball uh, <laughs> lingo as we probably should. I do more know more about if now if you were a soccer player, I would have no idea what you were talking about. If I'm being honest. Yeah, I tried to understand soccer. I I don't. There's a lot of different positions. I do a lot of different stuff. I don't understand the whole offsides thing. Like in every <laughs> other sport, you try to get in front of the last defender and yeah. you can't. I've never understood that either. So outside of volleyball, like what are some hobbies that you do? Um, I haven't done it in a while, which I actually was just telling um, my roommate that I want to start doing it again. But I was trying to learn the ukulele for a while, which was cool. Um, Isn't that like a small? Cool. This is a smaller guitar, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's you don't know what a ukulele is? I do, but I always, for some reason, I get it confused with a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know why, but. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Fisk, you're you're letting me down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, my bad, Travis. I was never the musical type. If, if you don't mind telling us a little bit about like your family and friends, like mm -hmm. who you, who you been around, I guess. <laughs> um, I am the oldest of four. So it's me and then my sister Riley, who is almost 16. And then my little sister Hunter, who will be 13 at the end of this month, actually. And then my little brother Adam is eight and he'll be nine in July. So he's got a little bit to go, but. <laughs> and so then um, my mom and um, I live with my mom and my stepdad because my mom and my dad aren't together anymore. That was when I was younger. It's whatever. It's always been that way. And me, um, I'm my dad's only kid. So technically all of my siblings are half siblings, but I don't really consider them that because it doesn't make a difference to me. And living with your mom, you grew up around them your whole, basically your whole life. So yeah. So it doesn't feel different. Um, so are like majority of your friends probably on the volleyball team? Like in the, I, I just noticed this, like in the one class we have, you sit next to all yeah. the volleyball players. So I assumed that, but, um, some inspirations that you have. Um, I would, th I think that my dad is probably like my biggest role model. hundred percent. Um, I guess like, what do you mean by inspiration? I mean, like, it, like, um, people that inspire you to like, keep going at like right. uh playing Definitely volleyball like or in school or like it could be overall. like it could be like athletes or family members or like anybody it could be famous people non-famous people just <laughs> anybody that like inspires you to be a better person or be what you want to be Okay. Yeah. I would say definitely my dad, he's like my best friend and I'm like super like grateful for him. Um, and then my aunt Becky too is more of my, like, we are super like, like we always joke that like something went wrong and I should have been her kid because I'm so much more like her than I am like my mom and everyone on my family. It's like an ongoing joke about it. So I think she is one too. She's just super strong and like, very, like just doesn't sugarcoat things and like tells you how it is and straight up. And that's something that I really appreciate because I don't need all the little like 
soft stuff like just tell me what's up and like so she is like big about that um I would say too that if I had to pick a famous person um Billie Eilish actually one reason that I really like her is because she's a huge advocate for like mental health and that's like super important to me too yeah I agree I I (laughs) think I I might need to start listening to her music or something because this COVID has caused more (laughs) things for me but if you listen to it and judge me, you're going to be like, why does she like this? <laughs> hey, I I really, en- you said it was sad, so I'm going to like that because I listen to a lot of sad. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so. this really vibes with sad music. <laughs> All right, then it's perfect for you. It really vibes with sad music. And then so just be- kind of before we segue into Travis's next segment, um, what what have you enjoyed most about your time in Olivet so far? Definitely the people that I've met. Um, especially because I come from such a small school, like the people that like I was friends with, I've been friends with since we were little. So like, it was kind of all I like really knew. And then when I came here, it, everything was super new. And even though like, it was kind of like nerve wracking, I was super excited to get to know like different types of people that have different like values and just different kind of personalities and a lot of people from my town and the people that I have become friends with here are like going to be my friends forever. hundred percent. It's a, it's a kind of a cultural shock coming from a small, mm. small town to come. Well, for me, I didn't move towns, but coming from a small town to like college life, I guess. Right. Absolutely. It is. It was something I was super excited for though. Yep. Um, so basically this next segment is just going to be, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the all of that experience. So dive a little bit more into um, your experience at this college and how you kind of got here. Um, So first of all, uh, what drew you to Olivet? Was it just mainly volleyball or was there other things that that drew you here? Um, It was definitely mainly volleyball um, because I had some other people um, in our conference that were like interested. But um, Luke, who is the men's coach now, actually was the one who recruited me. And uh, I don't know, like talking with him, he just really like, it just sounded super interesting to me. So I was like, you know what, let's just do a visit and like, see what's up with it. And the minute that like, I got here, I just like, it just felt right. Like, I I don't know, like, I'm just not, I think it's because I come from a small town. Like, I didn't really want like a huge school because like, I feel like that'd be just too much for me. So like, it just felt super homey and it like, felt just really comfortable. So after the visit, I was pretty much set. So backtracking a little bit. So you said some other schools from the conference were recruiting you. Who who else was? Um, I didn't have I, that I know of anyways, because for certain parts of like me throughout high school, they can't like talk to you. I don't I'm not super familiar with the rules, but um, but I had like the recruiting app. And so like different schools will like favorite you and like you get a notification about it. And so I had one from Adrian Elvian. Um And I think those were only two in our, oh, Elma. Those were the only three in our conference. And then I had some other like NAIA schools, but Olivet was the one. (laughs) Sorry to cut you off, Travis. No, you're fine. Um, So what would you say is your favorite thing about being on this campus? I like that everybody for the most part, like knows everyone. Like I'm, it's like you can walk into like a room and you'll at least be able to know a handful of people or at least that you've seen before. So I just like that it feels like familiar and safe. Yeah, I 100% agree. Um, Mm -hmm. I, I went on uh, visits when I came here to like bigger colleges and stuff. And I mean, I'm not into the whole thing of being just a number. Um, Right, absolutely. I I think I think it's a great thing to be able to know everyone in your class and know your professors on a personal level. Um, mm-hmm. I think that that's something that I really value. No, me too. Absolutely. Um, any, any cool Olivet related stories that you have? Hmm. Other than the ones you've already mentioned? Um, I don't know if, I have like a specific story that I can think of at the moment, but I remember that um, even now, because um, some of my friends like Dakota and Ellie and Flo and Dee, they live in Chip. And I just remember as much as like, I enjoy being in an apartment, 
um, ship and like being in the dorms was always so fun. Cause like, there was always like people, I mean, not as much now because of COVID, but we'll not talk about that. But there was always people that were like around doing things or like, we used to have like Nerf war gun, like Nerf gun wars, like in the hallways and stuff. And like, I don't know, just like little things like that. Like everybody's like just friendly. Yeah. We, we, we do stuff. We did used to do stuff like that too. in Blair, we would just, we would like, everybody knew everybody on the floor. Um, mm-hmm. And we would just, we would all go into the common area and like play 2k or like play pool or whatever. So right, yeah. yeah, definitely. I, I love my apartment, but I definitely, like you said, I miss living in the dorms. Yeah. It's just fun. There's always something to do. Yeah, for sure. Um, so this kind of ties in with the cool story thing, but do you have a favorite memory from all of that that you can think of? Um, I don't know. Cause the list goes on and on, but one that came to mind first was, um, have you guys ever seen like those videos where people take like the water bottle and then they like spin it and whoever it lands on gets like the Nerf gun and gets to like try to peg people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We played that in Blair Lawn the beginning of this, this year I think and that was so fun we were all just like crying laughing and like we were just running around it was so fun nice uh, I played that before it's super fun uh-huh. um, I, I would be the one that gets taken out first because I'm not very fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I mean I think we can say that for a lot of things Fisk dang <laughs> shots <laughs> Um, and lastly, in this Olivet segment, um, do you have any major plans after graduation? Hmm. Um, I personally, I want to move somewhere warm, but that is definitely like kind of like in the future. Um, my like dream with my major would be to like, um, own and operate my own like rec center that like has its own club like for sports teams. Cause like I used to play for Maury courts in Mount Pleasant. And so our club was central um, volleyball club. It, the name's changed now, but that's what it used to be. And um, I want to do like that kind of thing, but um, I would want to move somewhere like more down South. Plus like there's more people and more like demand for that. Yeah. So. I'm, I personally would just prefer to stay in Michigan, but uh, <laughs> cause uh, basically cause I like the cold. So. Right. Hey, I I do not plan to stay in Michigan. I'm with Jordan on this one. I, mm-hmm. Actually, I I want to I actually want to move to Alaska when if I ever get the chance. So no go for me. Um, but that's beside the point. Uh, so that is all for the uh for the Olivet segment. So Fisk, you want to round us out? Yeah. So I hope that we didn't get too uh, invasive, if you want to call it that. No, no, no. Time. I was a little bit nervous but it was fun like this is fun <laughs> so I, I'm glad you said that because we I think we were all a little nervous to be doing this internship and right to recruit people to get on so I'm glad you had fun mm-hmm. um so thank you for coming on I know it was kind of last minute that's okay but, yeah so thank you for coming on of course thank you <laughs> no problem I, w- I was a little bit nervous and but I was also excited and then you told me I was the first episode and I was like oh no no I'm even more nervous <laughs> so if you don't mind us asking before we kind of wrap things up what was your favorite segment um the rapid fire one was fun because it was like super random so I didn't have to I just kind of said the first thing that came to my mind I didn't have to think about it too much so we, that was fun we thought that you would like that one or people would like that <laughs> one because it's just a little icebreaker thing to kind of make you not so nervous about what was going on Mm -hmm. and so with that i think we're going to conclude the first episode of the comment cast here with michael fisk brandon taylor and travis garner thank you for listening and uh, as always roll comments thank you